Hey guys, I'm back again with another tip. In this video, we're going to review a tool in SOLIDWORKS that is not that common and not many people know that and don't know when to work with it. And it's called split line. Let's go check it out and learn together. Hi, welcome. I'm Aryan and I help engineers and creative minds like yourself to bring your ideas into reality using SOLIDWORKS by learning it through a very simple and easy approach. And if this is something for you, hit the subscribe button right now and let's begin. All right, split line. I have already prepared an object in this video to use split line, which I have already added to the side of my menu. If you do not have it or you do not see it over here, all you have to do is to go to curve and you will find it here. The curve menu can be found under the surface tab. So mind you, you should go to the surface tab, you find curves, or you could right click on this empty area over here, go to toolbars, find curves, and you can activate it. Once you activate that, it will be added to your menu here. Look at this. So I have split line here, it's ready. I have my prop, which is kind of a cube with one side a little bit deformed using freeform. We don't want to get into detail of that. I just need to have a non flat surface. I have already prepared two sketches. One, just an open sketch, a line, and the other one is a triangle. So let's see what we can do using the split line. First thing first, let's open the menu. We get two sets of input and we can decide the type of split that we want to do. But before I get into that, you need to know how it works. And then I'm going to come back and cover the types and so on and so forth. As you can see, the symbol shows we're going to have to use our sketch or sketches here. I'm going to select this line. Then I'm going to go ahead and select this surface. Before I click OK, I have the choice of single direction or if I don't check it, it will be double direction on both sides. Let's just leave it like this and click OK. Look at this. That sketch line is now projected onto this surface and has split this surface. I have to tell you, we still are dealing with one solid body. We have not created any surface body. If it would have been a surface, it wouldn't have been two surfaces. We are not literally splitting one surface body into two surfaces. We are only splitting the surface in terms of viewing. So instead of having one united surface, we have split it. The usage of that comes next, but before I cover the usage, let's do it one more time. We're using the triangle. This is the triangle and this is the surface. I'm gonna click okay. And this is kind of projected into this surface. It's not actually projected because we have this tool for it, which is called project curve. Don't go into that. This is different. It's a directional projection and it's different. Now, what can I do with something like this? For example, I'm going to offset using this surface and click OK. Look at that. It's only possible if my surface is already split and split line is actually the tool for it. I can do it again. Can we thicken a surface? This one and let's just click OK. Now, this is what happened. The usage of these tools come in handy when you're working with surface modeling especially when you are creating something that is wholly or fully made of surfaces, such as a car. Cars are good examples of surface modeling. And if you're going to create an opening for, for the light of the car, for example, you could project a curve onto the surface and then you could just cut it open. This is one example that comes to mind right now but there are other features such as this one. If you wanted to extrude a triangle out of this deformed surface, I made it deform on purpose so you cannot actually use extrude boss or any other feature for that matter. Otherwise it would have been too easy. This comes in handy. If you're going to work on a spherical or cylindrical surface, for example, or in this case warped. Let's uh, open the tool one more time. I'm gonna delete whatever I have created here and then go back and we're gonna do something else. So the first time I did this, it was set on projection. To cover the other types of split, we have two more mods, a silhouette and intersection. What we did was on projection, which is the sketch and the surface that you can select. Let's go to intersection, then we go to silhouette, which to me is a little bit odd, but I will tell you how it works to a degree 
and we leave it at that. So intersection. For intersection, you cannot select any sketch. Uh, you need to select a surface or uh, an edge or a plane that cuts another surface. So for example, if I select top plane, it's acceptable. And I can select the surfaces that I want to have the split on like this. And I click OK. Now I have created a split all over my cube or object, which gives me more control because it's a smaller mesh now. Uh, before it was one surface and I had to handle it as one. And now, even though it's only uh, one solid body, I can work on smaller meshes, which gives me more control over my design if I need more control. So that's that. I'm going to delete it. It was rather easy. The silhouette is the tricky part, which I haven't quite understood. And it goes like this. You can select a sketch. First of all, your plane can be this one, for example. And we can see we have a vertical line. And when I do this, it gives me a horizontal one. If I set an angle to this, for example, five, then I get something like this. So I do not for the life of me, uh, have figured out how to control this the way I want it. But I just wanted to show you there is a third mode to it and it could create some odd angles for you. As you can see here, it rotates it for sure and how it calculates that goes beyond my knowledge. I have to be honest, I don't know that. So to be honest, after 14 years of working with SolidWorks, I have never worked with silhouette or needed that, or actually I didn't know where to need it. All I have worked with was projection, mostly 90% and intersection, probably 10%. So I leave that to you to figure out. Leave a comment under this video. I'm serious. I'm not just asking. I need to know. Have you ever worked with split line? And if so, if you haven't, you don't need to leave a comment. But if you have, I need to know when and where you use this feature for. Because this is not a very common feature. I want to know all the possible usage for this feature that is happening all around the world. So if you are working with this feature or if you have worked with this feature, let me know when and why. I appreciate that. By the way, guys, as always, hit the subscribe button, like the video, and I'll see you soon.